Hi, this is Janet Diane Moria Swordlow coming to you from the basement of my home. The reason I am down here is because there is so much controversy over steam distilled water and I recently had my steam distiller clean. So I want to tell you a little bit about steam distilled water, what we do and why we do, and show you some of the results of why you want to consider using steam distilled water as well if you are not. So I want to start right here by showing you this is my whole house water filter. This I got uh, from Patricia. Many of you are familiar with her, events at expansions.com. This is a whole house water filter, and what this does is it takes the fluoride out as well as the chlorine that's in it and those kind of things. So it goes through a UV filter here, a UV light, and it helps us as far as not soaking this into our skin when we bathe and when we drink our water. I use it for my cooking water, um, some of my cooking water anyway but it does take out those kind of nasty things that I don't want in my body. You want to remember that your skin is the largest eliminative organ in your body and also it absorbs. So when you bathe or you shower, you're absorbing in your fluoride and your chlorine, which if you can avoid that, of course, at all costs, that's the best thing. So this is my whole house filter. Now after that, I have a line, a plumbing line, that comes over here to my steam distiller. And my, this steam distiller is one that I got after a tabletop model that does, I think it did about two liters at a time, which we actually wore out. But we used it, we used it, we used it, we went to this. This company, I don't believe, is in business any longer, but you can probably find something comparable online. This holds 25 gallons at a time. It's processed through the top, and we have a spigot down here. You can see along with our snowshoe Siamese cat, who was a rescue cat, Sapphire. This is where I get my drinking water from. I have gallon jugs upstairs. We come down here and we fill it and we haul it upstairs. <clears throat> now, a couple times a year, we actually have to, to clean this. And the unit that actually does the, the work is in this section right here. And what it does is it takes the water from my whole house filter and it turns it to steam. And anything that is not steam falls down and is cleaned out. And what we drink then is the steam cools down and that's what we drink. So everything that was in the steam that was left after the whole house filter falls out. And because I just uh, um, had it cleaned a couple of days ago, I thought you might be interested to see what it is that you are putting in your body if you're not drinking steam distilled water. So here you go. This, I'm going to lay out my paper towel that I brought down here for you to see. This, and you can hear it, listen, it's hard. Okay. This is what you're putting in your body. This is a very small portion of what comes out of my unit. This is what we clean out a couple times a year. It's very sharp, it's very hard. You can see how it, listen. Okay. This is what you're putting in your body and in your veins. So when people tell you, oh, you don't want to have steam distilled water because you don't want to lose out on all the minerals, I don't want this in my body. I don't know about you, I do not want this in my body. That's why I take approximately a half a teaspoon of high quality Celtic sea salt at least once a day because that gives me my minerals. I don't want this mineral. And unfortunately, see, I can't even break this with my hands. Oh, there it went. That's how hard it is. So it, it's very hard and it goes in there and it destroys your veins. It, it embeds itself in your cells. I don't want to drink this and I don't think you do either, but of course that's your choice.